All right, now I have to admit, my previous Chromium video was a little bit disappointing because I didn't have, I didn't do any Chromium experiments. But uh, since then, I've gained both uh, some safety equipment, but most importantly, a lot of uh, knowledge about how to handle Chromium compounds safely. And so in this video, I'll be doing more uh, experiments with Chromium compounds. So I'll show you that later in the video, but first I'm going to talk to you a little bit about chromium. Chromium, the metal, um, you know, the metal itself, um, is most importantly used in stainless steel. Um, stainless steel uh, is an alloy of iron, nickel, and chromium. And what's amazing is that although it's a steel, it doesn't corrode, it doesn't rust. And the reason it doesn't corrode is because chromium when first is exposed to air, forms a very thin, invisible um, oxide layer of chromium two or uh, chromium three trioxide, dichromium trioxide, which is a powder is green, but with this, such a thin layer, it's actually invisible. Now the chromium oxide is then um, protects the rest of the uh, steel from further oxidation and corrosion. And if a little bit of a layer is scratched off or something, it just reforms because the entire steel has chromium in it. So that is why it can be a steel that has iron in it, which you'd think would corrode, but that doesn't corrode. Um, chromium compounds are also, also very useful as pigments because, well, like all, all transition metals, um, chromium forms very beautiful colored compounds. Um, the most common uh, green pigment of chromium is uh, green chromium oxide or chromium 3 oxide or dichromium trioxide, the same oxide that, it, that chromium forms when it's just exposed to air, like in the stainless steel. Now this is actually a green because chromium in the plus 3 oxidation state is green. And since it's an oxide, it's insoluble in water, making it a good pigment. Additionally, this is actually chromium's main ore, so it comes right out of the ground. You don't have to make it. Um, a yellow pigment of chromium is lead chromate, which sounds toxic already because it has lead in the name, but it's actually even more toxic than you think because the chromate part of it features chromium in the plus six oxidation state, which is a strong carcinogen. So you're having a heavy metal plus a strong carcinogen all in one salt. The only saving grace is that it's not soluble in water because of the lead and therefore is not as easily absorbed into the body. But it's still quite toxic by inhalation and so its, it's use as a pigment is being phased out. Alright, now that's enough yammering on about chromium. Let's get to the experiments. Before we actually do them, I want to describe what I'm going to do. I'm going to sh uh, show and demonstrate the properties of chromium in all of its easily accessible oxidation states, plus 2, plus 3, plus 4, plus 5, and plus 6. Chromium plus 1 is really hard to get to because you need a complex organic uh, compound, which is I can't make, and it's very expensive, so I don't want to buy. In the process of me making chromium 3 plus, you'll actually see the chromium metal itself, which is chromium in the zero oxidation state. Um, all right, let's get to the experiments. All right, so now let's explore the aqueous chemistry of chromium. If you're starting with chromium metal like I am, the first step is to get it into solution, which is what I'm doing here. I'm putting the chromium metal in hydrochloric acid. So at first, to uh, chromium doesn't really seem to react much. After a while, you can see that it starts to bubble a little bit more, and you see that the solution is actually turning a faint green. That is because that the chromium is oxidized, uh, the chromium is oxidized to the plus three oxidation state, which in most, in many cases, well, in most cases for chromium is green. So we're now getting a solution of green chromium three plus ions and chloride ions. So I'm going to keep heating the solution to drive the reaction forward. This is actually very dilute at this point, um, and I'm going to try to get it more concentrated. It's amazing how dark the solution is when it actually is more concentrated. 
So here's the solution when uh, pretty much all the chromium has reacted and neutralized the acid, or all the acid has reacted. And that, that is a nice example of chromium 3 plus. All right, so there's just some water. And I'm now going to add dropwise with the pipette the extremely dark chromium 3 plus solution that I made in the previous clip. You see, after very few drops, the solution actually gets quite dark. The total amount I'm adding right now is just under a milliliter. So it is amazing how dark the solution gets because I'm adding it to about 20 milliliters of solution. What I'm now going to do is add zinc, a reducer, and reduce the chromium 3 plus to chromium 2 plus. A couple hours later, the solution looks like this, a nice blue. And um, what's cool is that chromium 2 plus is actually uh, quite sensitive to oxidation, very sensitive to oxidation, even by air. So here I am by petting the chromium 2 plus solution into a separate test tube where it doesn't have the zinc to reduce any 3 plus created. When I shake it around in the air, you'll see that the color, the blue, turns, it turns a, quite a bit darker green. There is the original chromium 3 plus green solution. So there you go. You've seen two different oxidation states of chromium. Now I'll show you a couple more. Other than plus 3, the next most common oxidation state of chromium is plus 6. Chromium plus 6 is a nice yellow color. Here is potassium chromate, a salt featuring chromium in the plus 6 oxidation state. Here it is dissolved in water. It's a really nice yellow. Chromium in the plus 6 oxidation state is extremely unstable and is susceptible to easy decomposition. Here is ammonium dichromate. Um, when I heat it up with a match, you'll see that it decomposes to form green chromium dichromium trioxide featuring chromium in the 3 plus oxidation state and it also forms water and nitrogen gas. The reason I used ammonium dichromate for this volcano experiment, as it's sometimes called, instead of potassium chromate or potassium dichromate, is that ammonium dichromate is exceptionally unstable, more so than the other than other dichromate or chromate salts, because the dichromate anion is oxidizing and the ammonium ion is reducing. So when you have an oxidizer and reducer all in one salt, then that will make that salt very unstable. So doing this experiment does not work nearly as well with other dichromate or chromate salts. What you see there is potassium tetraperoxochromate, which contains chromium in the plus 5 oxidation state. In solution, it kind of turns a brownish color, it turns the solution brownish, and in the solid state is extremely unstable. This is because chromium in the plus 5 oxidation state is very, very unstable.
The product from this decomposition, you can see, is yellow. Now this is really surprising because yellow means that this product contains chromium in the plus 6 oxidation state. Now, normally one would think that from a decomposition, chromium wouldn't naturally go to the plus 6 oxidation state because, as we've seen before, the plus 6 oxidation state is quite unstable and reactive. Well, it turns out that, I guess, the plus 5 oxidation state is so unstable, and I guess closer energetically to the plus 6 oxidation state, that energetically it makes sense for the chromium to go to the plus 6 oxidation state. What you see there is chromium-4 triamine diperoxide, a very um, unstable compound featuring chromium in the rare oxidation state of plus 4. And notice that the resulting compound is a very nice green, which is chromium two or dichromium trioxide, chromium three trioxide. So this is very interesting. The chromium five tetraperoxo chromate, when it decomposed, it went to chromium six plus. But for the chromium four plus, the um, the chromium four triamine diperoxo complex. It looks like it makes sense energetically for the chromium to go down to the 3 plus oxidation state. All right, now I've shown you chromium in all the major st oxidation states that can be easily reached. Plus 2, plus 3, plus 4, and plus 5, and plus 6. Notice that 